Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber coming to you on a Friday afternoon. I am so excited to share with you that we got a new Flora and Fauna release. Flora and Fauna is one of my favorite, favorite companies, and so I'm so happy that we got this new release and I wanted to share it with you. First of all, I want to start off with a couple of older sets. We had some orders, and these are really, really great sets. The first one is kind of a holiday set, although I think you could use it for some great winter cards, and certainly elements on it could be used all year round. This one is called the Woodland Snow Globe set. You can see that there's the snow globe there, but look at all these other elements you get on here. You get several houses, you get a bunch of trees, you get some little animals, there's a reindeer, you get mountains, you get snow, um, lots of fun things on this set. And just to give you an idea, sometimes I think people are intimidated by these sets that have lots of little pieces on them. And there's really a couple of different ways that you can go with these sets. One, you can do something very, very simple, and I'll show you a sample of that here with another set in a minute. Or you can take elements and combine them to create really fun scenes or backgrounds. And keep in mind that a lot of the flora and fauna sets, you can mix and match things from different sets. So they really are useful that way. This is a card that we did uh, back in maybe, I think, probably November using this set right here. And you can see how we kind of created these little scenes. We have the houses, we have trees, we have the mountain, we have some garland. And basically we just lined this up on our stamp block and we've just stamped it repeatedly, just kind of varying where we start on each row. And that just makes such a fun, simple card um, by doing that, added a little bit of coloring. So that's an example of using lots of elements and combining them together. All right, another older set that we got is this one, Slow Down Snail. They have several really cute snail sets, and this one I really like a lot. You can see you have several different snails here in different sizes. We have some leaves and some flowers. We have some sentiments, snail mail, slow down, happy mail is sna snail mail, oh hello. And we also have some mushrooms and a butterfly on there. And I will show you a sample of that here in just a minute. All right, let's get into the new things. First of all, there are some new mini sets. I love their mini sets. They're inexpensive and so cute. And again, you can mix and match them with other flora and fauna things. This is a new flamingo set. This one is called Flamingo Sunshine. It's got this fun flamingo wearing this floral crown, this cute sun here and then a sentiment that says Happy Flamingo Sunshine. And next up we have this Panda Teepee Mini Set. How cute is that little panda? He's wearing a little feather headdress. And you have a little mini teepee on here, this arrow, a dream catcher, and then a sentiment that says Panda Dreams. All right, this next mini set might be one of my favorite things from this new release. And this one is called Mini, uh, Mini Stuck on You. And look at those cute little succulents you have there in those fun little pots. And the little sentiment that says Stuck on You and a little heart. That would make a great, not too um, mushy Valentine's. But obviously you could use those um, all year round. And succulents have been really popular for a while in crafting. But they continue to be. We actually right now have a couple of really fun papers uh, that fe feature succulents on them. So you could certainly combine this stamp set with some of these background pa uh, papers as well. Also have some other fun succulent projects planned probably coming in February, so you wanna stay tuned for those. All right, let's get into some of the full-size sets with matching dies that they have. This one is called Critter Valentine, and while it certainly um, can be used for Valentine's Day, it has the Valentine sentiment on it, Be Mine, uh, Be My Valentine, and some hearts. This is a great set if you've been collecting some of their various uh, VW uh, vans and cars and things like that. This is a new one to the collection. You can see there you have the tall VW bus and you have all these cute critters, the owl and um, a fox and there is a little bear and a reindeer and a hedgehog and of course if you want you can have them riding in the van probably some of the other critters from the other sets would also ride in there as well 
and there is a die set for that one. This one is super, super sweet. It is called Bohemian Woodland, and we have all these sweet little woodland animals, and they're all wearing little flower crowns. Um, and again, this would be a set that you could use for Valentine's Day because it does have the XOXO and kind of the floral wreath, but it also has, um, I think it could be good for some great springtime cards. There's a couple of bunnies on there, that sweet let's be friends sentiment. And again, there is a die set for that one as well. This next one is great for springtime. It's called Bird Blossoms. And you can see that we have several different birds on here, as well as some branches and flowers and a couple of little sentiments. Thank you and happy bird day. And there is a die set for that. I'm going to show you real quick. I do have some samples I'll show you in a minute of that one. This uses a different bird set, but I just wanted to show you if you don't want to do something that's quite so elaborate, um, a lot of times you think, oh, I can't have that much dead space on my card. But look what we did with this one with another one of the flora and fauna birds as well as a little branch. And by cutting a panel with a window that frames that stamping, even though there's a lot of white space on that card, it still looks like it's complete. It doesn't look like it's um, just still something else. So doing something as simple as providing a frame to your image means that you can get away with uh, less stamping, but still have a really nice finished card. All right, last thing to show you is another, probably along with the Stuck on You is one of my favorites from this release. It's called You Are My Tribe. And you can see we have all the different animals, even a cactus, look at that, wearing the feather headdress. And I love all the little detail on the animals there on the fox's tail or on that bird. There is also um, a mushroom that has some of that fun detail. There's another dream catcher. We have some mountains, and we have a little teepee. And again, there is a die set for that. And I just wanted to point out, this is an older flora and fauna die, but it would work great with this set. It's their teepee die. And again, we also have currently some um, scrapbook papers in stock that would go really well with this set. This one you can see here has the different teepees on it. And then here um, has kind of that same patterning that you're seeing on that stamp set, just kind of a background. And then this one I think also would go really well with it as it has the different arrows on here. So some fun things to kind of coordinate with those. All right, let me show you um, some samples here. First of all, I wanted to show you a really cute sample with the snail mail set. Let me grab that over here and show you. This again is a really, really simple card but they have used, what I like is they've used the snail trail there and they have put some little teeny tiny uh, flower sequins on that. So I just think that really makes that card having that snail trail there. And of course we do have some of the little mini flower sequins as well. So um, that would make it easy to recreate that card. All right, and I hope you guys are seeing this because my screen is completely frozen up. Oops. All right, well, it looks like I'm not live, but I'm going to go ahead. Oop. Okay, sorry, I'm back now. I hadn't had some connection issues there. I just wanted to let you know I have created a new Pinterest board for this release, so you might want to go out and check out our Pinterest. It's under uh, one of our board that's called Flora and Fauna, and there's a section under there that's the 2018-2019 winter new release, and so you can go on our Pinterest and see more of that. But there is with the Birds and Blossoms set, there is using, I think, the little bohemian animals. Here is an adorable card with the new You Are My Tribe set. Love that one. Um, there is the Critter Valentines. You can see that where they have the little deer riding in the bus. There is one, again, I think that's with the bohemian animals. We have some of the flingo. There is the little mini panda teepee set. Um, some more of the little animals. 
Uh, come on, focus in. All right. And um, stuck on you. So definitely go and check out our Pinterest board and you can see some more there. They've used the mini stuck on you to create a great background. So definitely want to go and check that out. All right, that is it for now. I am going to be back again. I have another shipment that came in, and so as soon as I get that checked in, I will be back, and I'll share that with you as well. Hope you all have a great afternoon, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.